Welcome back to Carpathian Countryside for episode 13 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 11.31 and I have been busy. I've been cutting down trees, I've been trying to line them all up using the little uh, plow attachment, you know what I mean, on here. And what I've also been doing is where I've been cutting the trees down and not getting the height quite right, I've been trying to get down as close to ground level, so I've got a few poles and little stumps here and there, which I'll come around and gather up later on. Now, this episode, I've got a bailing contract to do. I've had a few comments, people saying that I've, I've, I'm not showing my doing a complete job and that kind of thing. It's difficult to do on bigger jobs. If I'm doing a sugar beet harvest, some of that, I have got an idea, but I don't know how that's going to pan out. Um, and I, I keep jumping ahead to, in jobs. I just feel that if I'm doing a job that's taking a long time, like a potato harvest that could take three, four hours, I can't obviously I can't put up an hour video on from PlayStation. Um, I can't show the whole harvest, so I do some of it and then say that I'll see you later on. Um, now, I'll be honest, when I was loading the log trailer yesterday, the small log trailer, I thought I'd recorded the whole section where I was pulling the logs up over the top. When I got to editing, I hadn't. Uh, so apologies for that. Because some people said they wanted to see the log trailer being filled. How did I get the logs to... I, I'm sorry. I thought I had recorded it, but I hadn't. Um, this tractor is going to go. I've had mixed reviews on this. A lot of people saying they like the sound of it. The um, turbo whistle, that kind of stuff. Um, I've had a lot of people commenting. And me, personally, when I was editing, it's too loud. I, 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 can't, I can't keep going in and adjusting the sound level for the vehicles in-game for every vehicle I get into because I have to get into this turn the vehicle volume down then get into another one turn the vehicle volume back up and I'm, I'm just bouncing and forwards bouncing and forwards so this is going to go now I've spoken to him down at the yard and it has given me a little bit of leeway on this because um, they have got another tractor and I'm going to take this down and swap it out in a little while for the other one prices are pretty much identical so no money's got to change hands we can just go down drop this one off pick the other one up but what it does mean because of the hassle it's caused me um, I don't have to get all this done immediately that being said if I go do here and we look at where we're at we're stood about here I've cleared to about there and to about here so we're probably a third of the way through it I guess that's my measuring stick <laughs> my eight meter measuring stick I keep losing it because I keep dragging piles together and trying to neaten the piles up um, and then I, I turn around and I think what have I done with it and I find I've pushed it in with the pile of stuff so what I've been trying to do is in between cutting trees down I've been leaning up against trees so I don't lose it and that's one of those little things there. so anyway this episode I'm going to get that bailing contract done but I'm going to get some logs loaded now I have swapped out my log trailer that DPW 1800 it just kept moving. It, it, every time I was trying to load stuff onto it, it kept, between um, putting logs onto it or trying to get logs onto it and then coming to get some more logs to come back, the whole thing kept drifting away from the ramps. Um, so what I've done is I've got the 50 foot, what's it called? Is it 50 foot bale trailer? Something like that, isn't it? Um, but this one does have the option of log supports. So I can potentially drag logs up onto it and then put the log supports up or if this all doesn't work um, then what I'll do is I'll put the log supports up I'll go down to the store and I'll just go I say old school but um, more standardized I'm gonna grab I'll grab the telehandler from the store I'll get a log grab for the front of it and possibly a weight for the back so it's only a small telehandler um, and I'll load one of these up normally I'll get rid of some of these logs get them sold then we'll get down we'll do the bailing contract but yeah so this is um viewer suggestions let's let's go with that this is viewer suggestions one, when I pulled the logs up and got to here and they got stuck, somebody suggested getting into here and folding it up. So these rear ramps fold up. Would that push the logs up over the top of there? You know what? We'll give it a go. The other thing was, a lot of people said, why didn't I just turn the logs around the other way? Because they wouldn't go over these side lips, turn them around and drag them up lengthways and then have this trailer lengthways. Now the only reason I didn't do that before, on the smaller trailers that wouldn't work because we had a front and back on the small trailers so it wouldn't, I couldn't get past the front and back unless I lifted this up much much higher. But the three meter logs work no problem at all. The only downside I can see to doing that is, 
Well, I suppose it could work, couldn't it? I think this trail is narrower than that ramp. It's just the length. Why not? Go. I could have gone with a short one of these because I hadn't really thought of that. Um, it's where do I position that with the winch? Will it be long enough? I'm going to try it. So, like I say, viewer suggestions. We'll give a couple a go and see how we get on. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these logs a little bit closer. Of course it'll be easier. Now, I, I'm sure I said in the last episode when I was saying about this, towards the end, and it, of course it always depends when a person's commented and whether they stuck it out to the end of the video. But I said towards the end of the video, I think as I was heading back, um, was that, um, yes, I have got money in the bank. So I think I had a few comments, people saying, you've got money in the bank, why haven't you just leased a tree harvester? That's what I said. This was about trying out something different. That kind of looking at a situation, if I didn't have any money, if I was starting out um, and I didn't have um, a skid steel loader, a telehandler, didn't have a front loader on my tractor or whatever it might be. Now I know front loaders are cheap and that was, you know, I had a few messages and people saying, but they are cheap and you could have got one. Now, I know, I, I say, I, this was just about trying to me out. I got quite a few, didn't do so well. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, didn't do so well. So we're hitting there and that's where it's getting stuck. It doesn't like want to go past that. So what I'll do, I'll get the winch attached. We'll try and drag it up a little bit more and then I'll try and lift those ramps up and see if we can get that up a little bit higher. I don't know if we can work, but we'll try. Let's get around the other side. I oh, don't mind the tree stumps. I like this tractor. If it had been a little bit quieter, I probably would have kept it. I know that uh, there's a mixed bag of comments. A lot of people saying they really like it. Um, uh, a couple of people have messaged and I said it was, unfortunately, it was just too loud and some said they didn't have any problem with it at all. It sounded perfect. Um, I personally thought it was. That's why I keep coming a distance away from it because when I get close to it and when I was walking around it and talking, I could really tell how loud it was. So I don't know. Right. Let's grab from there. Right, too close to that. There we go. Let's try this again. So I'm only going to give these a couple of goes and then if it doesn't work, that's all fine. as well. Excellent, right. So if I can pull that winch, let's get that pulled tight. I don't want to pull the... Right, now we'll get into this. I'll fold it. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, no, I've got stuck behind. No. <laughs> no. That's definitely not going to work. Uh, we can try it. Nope. <laughs> Can I fold that back down again? Oh, no. Disaster. It was worth a try. I didn't like that last log. It wasn't quite on there. It could have worked. Let's disconnect these. Okay, hang on. I mean, we're almost there. If I connect on that one. Because it was suggested well, just to do one log at a time. You know what? I can. Of course I can. Let's do those two. They're already up on there. suggesting about doing them lengthways that might be a better way to go because they have the, I, I don't think I've got them right in the middle have I that's probably why they've twisted but yeah I mean it's sort of not quite but it could have worked we'll get a load of these bottles don't worry we'll get there I just want to try these things out Like the wrong angle. So 
So, what we'll do... Well, the, only thing, the only downside I can see to this, I'd say, depending on the... If I get the angle wrong, I'm going to pull these just off the side, aren't I? But... Because the trailer's narrower than the ramps. But, again... It could be... It's, it's, isn't it weird? I've said this so many times before that you can do something and you kind of like when I do mod reviews and you'll try something and you'll try it a load of different ways and you'll get to a point and think okay I can't get this to work or this isn't working or this isn't great or whatever it might be and you kind of stop and think okay well that's it and then someone messages and say why didn't you try so and so and you stop and you think that didn't even cross my mind that didn't even dawn on me at all to try what you're suggesting and it's weird isn't it but like I say, people put mods out, once they get out into the wider populace, that's when people then come up with all these ideas and things and ways to try mods that the, the modder probably never ever considered. Let's raise up a little bit just so we don't catch on the lip of the trailer. Turn the image off on that. Let's give us another go. Actually that one, I might be able to move my hands. Is that a narrow one? We can, okay. Let's put that next to it. Go to the left hand side of it that way. Am I going to load an entire log trailer like this? Maybe not. The thing is, I did think as well about putting the log sides up. The problem is, when you drag these up, if I catch one of those log supports. Could do I suppose what you need for this. Oh, what trailer is it? It's like one of these, isn't it? You can have it like it's a dump trailer. But you can have it for logging, so it's smooth-sided. So you'd have to have the winch a lot higher to get it to work, but it could do, couldn't it? So let's try from there. Winch. I'm at the wrong side now, so what I need to do is switch to the other side, or get directly through the middle, because it's pulling through the middle, and then I should be able to go into That's working! It's working, though! Good shout to all the people that suggested that! I'll feed the cable through the middle. Strapped him down. Let me do that. Okay, that's not letting me. It's just on the trailer. Oh, come on, no. Why is that not letting me connect? Because I'm too close that I'm on the trailer now. Because I was over there, it won't let me hook these up. What? Oh, I should have just been in the correct position. What if I go back further to there? That's probably not going to work. It's going to twist them, isn't it? I should have found a position myself in the correct position first of all. It might have worked. But these are going to twist now because that's going to pull from there and this is going to swing them around. Oh, that's so annoying. That would have worked. That would have been absolutely perfect. 
I'm almost tempted to drag these back off now and try that again. I'm going to. I'm going to drag those back down because I want to get this right. Because the people that suggested this, I don't want this to go horribly wrong because of a mistake I made, not because of what they suggested. It's because I'm on the trailer already. That's frustrating. I guess though at this point, there's nothing to stop me now they're up onto the trailer. Because the whole point about this was, how do I get something up onto a log trailer or a trailer that's too heavy to lift if I don't have a device for lifting? And that's what the ramp, where the ramp comes into play. But I guess once they're up there at this point, it just became a case of manhandling them. So I could just bring that round and use the, the, the little plough thing to just push them up the trailer. It would have been nice to get the full load up there. Maybe I'll try and get some others and we'll, we'll give that a go. Yeah, okay, right, well. Do that. That. They're probably still going to twist and turn and do whatever, but... Maybe I could put the log supports up now. I said, there's so many different ways of doing this. And it's just, I suppose like everything in game now, like I've always said, everyone's an expert and, and people don't seem to listen, I'm not quite sure why. Um, and I always say there are so many different ways to do something. And just because I'm doing something some way, it's not because, one, I don't know there's other ways of doing it. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. But also, if I'm trying something out for a particular reason, that might be why. Or I might just be using something because I just want to use it. There might not be a particular reason why. I just fancy using it. Yeah, that's... Whatever person. Yeah, it might just be for whatever reason. I want that other one I can pick up right there. That's, that's right. But, it is working. Yeah, I've got to be careful there. Technically on? Yeah. Log supports need to be up. But that does work. That's the main thing. Right, so they're on. I'll have a fiddle around with those and see if I can do one more set that I can pull right the way up from the end onto the trailer. And then I'll swap over the tractors and then I'll do I'll probably go and grab the uh, the telehandler. We'll get a full load done, then I'll go over and get that that moment contractor because we need to move forward towards the um, sugar beet harvest anyway Success! It worked! It's just about getting the right angle. Am I going to continue doing it like that? No, probably not. <laughs> but it's a proof of concept. Like I say, I think what would make life a lot easier should have to be open ended. I don't know, however, you can want to go about it. Um, still can't think which one it was. Um, it's an 82 Studio one, I'm sure it is. Or is it a Mack Trucker 921? That you can have deep-sided, or you can have it open-ended as a log trailer, but it's smooth side, so you could just drag stuff up and in. But there you go. Viewer suggestions? Tried them both, or the ones that have been suggested by a few people. That one did work better. It, it, is, it all comes down to positioning here. The first time I tried to, I'm not going to lie, the first time I tried, tried to drag that up, it got caught on the lip here, which the first three didn't. So all I did was got the chainsaw, tilted it at an angle, and down the bottom, right at the very bottom of it, just took a tiny little chunk off. Where did I put it? I thought I put it down here somewhere. Oh, there you go, look. A sliver. Took that little sliver off, 
and all that did was just gave me a little bit of an angle there which got it up over that little bit there yes there's a lot of mucking around yes it's a pain yes you know all that good stuff but let's disconnect that I can strap that down I moved the, tra the um, trailer and the um, ramp for two reasons one the ramp wasn't sitting flat on the ground and I was worried that I would catch the lip of the ramps uh, the other reason being that we were driving it on and off someone's field and I thought that wasn't okay. So what I'm going to do now is take this tractor back down, swap it for the new one, the one, say new one, different one. Um, I was, was going to make, there was a comment, that was, it's one of those weird ones again. Um, it always surprises me what seems to annoy people or whether it was just a general comment it could be the way I read it and not necessarily the way it was intended but um, unlike PC I can't adjust things in XML files so if I'm buying an old piece of equipment the only way I can make it look old is to make it look dirty if it's just been bought by me it's got zero hours on it I can't put extra hours on it unless I sit here for 50 hours just driving round and round and round in circles until I get 50 hours. I can't add hours to it. I can make it look old, I can make it look dirty. You've just got to go with it. You can, sometimes you sort of, you know, I can't do my tails unfortunately. So, I'm going to take this back over, let's pick up the new one, the different one. I'm going to grab the um, Tally Handler, grab a uh, log fork, probably from the CSZ pack. I'm not going to use the, the, the um, big bag handler, which I, I have done before. I'm going to use a proper log fork and probably get a Mantrid lightweight for it on the back. Um, if I'm going to be grabbing a, you know, piles of logs, I'm going to need a bit of oomph to it. So I'll just see you down at the um, container, container warehouse log depot in a minute. As I'm driving down here, I've just suddenly thought of something. I think I took on the bailing contract and didn't borrow equipment. I think I've... I think I've just accepted the contract. Oh, man. That's not going to work. Oh. I've done that a few times when I've done some of the, the bigger bailing because it's only on field 10, it's a small field, it's not going to take long. Um, I say it's not going to take long, I will do with no equipment. Um, but I have leased equipment because I knew the outcome, the payout, like on the, on the field 17 when it pays 40 grand, if you spend 8 grand leasing bailing equipment, it's, it's not as bad. If you've got a contract that pays 10 grand, and you spend eight grand leasing equipment, that's not, you know, doesn't add up. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep hold of this down here, so potentially it may be available for me to use at a later date, I don't know. But what we'll do is we'll, um, I won't put it back on the train cars just in case they don't want it to go and the train leaves and they'll take it away. Let's pop it here. I don't know what the feeling's going to be about that. Like I said, I, I personally feel it's loud, so I don't know. So, between... Hmm. Between some shipping containers. No, lorries. Where was it left? No one saw anything. No one saw a thing. Oh, there it is. I couldn't remember where it was. So, the Deutz Far. Same price, a little bit less horsepower, and a little bit slower. I think the other one was 150 horsepower, this is 143, I think. Um, and this goes at 24 or 26. 24. Does it have a front loader attachment? I'm going to whiz past the store actually because that's I'm, I'm really worried now. A little bit quieter, isn't it? It's a little bit better on the ears. Now, 
this could be a big problem. Um, what I might need to do, if I can find a cheap set of mowers, um, I think I've got, a, I think it's for hay, so I think I've got to ted it. Well, I mean, if it's for hay, yes, I've got to ted it, I know I, but um, then bale it and deliver. So if I can find really cheap versions, I know mowers, there's that, oh, what are they called? This has got front three points as well, so we should be right. Um, again, I'm not sure if I've got them available, but I can make them available. Um, is it a lizard, lizard cutting bar? What was it called? Um, I know there's a baler for 12 grand, so at least that'll be dirt cheap. There'll be square bales, doesn't really matter, round or square. I haven't got a wrap or anything like that, which actually makes life a little bit easier. Unless I made a mistake and I have borrowed the equipment. I've got a really nagging suspicion. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh no. Um, and just a cheap tether. Um, oh, I need to win row, aren't I? The other thing was, oh, that was something that was mentioned. Um, my sprayer, I was supposed to be saving money up to buy a new sprayer, wasn't I? And I didn't get one. Um, I was supposed to be getting that. Where was it? That. And that. But getting that so I could do spot um, spraying of herbicide. And what I said was going to come in about 80 grand, didn't I? We spot spraying, yes. Leave these the same colour, I think. Leave it all the same. I'm not bothered about that. 73,000. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's do it. And then get that. Seventy eight thousand five hundred. That's all right. Now the mower situation, like I said, I don't know if I've got them available. Oh, I have here. Yeah, oh, look these. Cutting bar. What's that? Seven meters and two meters. Five, three, and two, one. I mean, to buy them is not that expensive. Lease that. Two hundred and seventy. I mean, that's going to be. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And that. Um, tedders. Like I say, it's a small field. I haven't got to go mad. I've got a nice cheap. Oh, I can use that one. We've got that available. We've got that available. How much tedders you have? At least that for 66. Brilliant. Then a cheap wind rower. Same version. I can do that. Get the wind rower for that. Another 66. And then baler. I don't know if I've got it. I have. The big pack. How much is that? 612. Get in. Oh, hang on. What's horsepower requirement? 115. So, everything I need to do a hay baling contract, that cost me what? That coming right, 1,122. They might have been out. They were only 66 each, weren't they? <laughs> That's the result. Anyway, right, I'm going to go back up there. Let's load some logs. I've got one of the workers to take the um, telehandler up. The telehandler's up there. Um, I think they've left it at the uh, sawmill. I'll see you up there. I'm going to load up a log trailer normally. We'll sell a load of logs. And like I said, the land, I'm only paying for a permit. I haven't bought that land. I can sell that back and come back and buy it again. So, like I said, buy it again, but do the permit again to clear the rest of the logs. At any point, I'm going to have to go back and do stump grinding at some point. But I wanted to do a bit of logging. It was a proviso put in of getting these tractors. Well, the tractor, but these tractors. Um, I can't believe I made that mistake with the mowing. Or oh, the bailing contract, doesn't matter. Right.
Okay, now some of these poles I can lift by hand. I've put some poles together of the thinner ones that were kind of left over as I was pushing stuff together. Um, actually, I can move the ramp out of the way now. Oh. I would suggest as well that people um, had said, why didn't I just pull the logs up onto this and use this as a trailer? I, I'm, again, I'm sure I said on the way out, this doesn't have straps. I mean, they could have maybe stayed on there in place. I, I wouldn't have liked to think they would have. Actually, I'll get off the road just in case anything does come up to the sawmill. Not that it's going to, but you never know. I've also been leaving, I've only been cutting down the, the maturer trees, the smaller trees around the edges and the few in the middle I've been leaving. Um, to continue to grow. So, uh, oh, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Oh, I've just realised something as well. When I was having trouble getting stuff over the lip of the thing and moving stuff around, giving it a little bit of a nudge, and I was using the um, the plate on the tash fund, and I was using the um, using logs just realized what's up here at the sawmill these are dotted around the map at all the different very different cell points aren't they oh, I can't believe that was there the whole time and I forgot anyway this this, <laughs> this is bizarre right okay so CSZ pack log fork mandatory lightweight I wasn't sure how long I was going to be doing this for. I thought if it gets dark and I haven't got lights, they'd be quite handy to have the lights on. You don't have the lights. You don't have to have the lights on it. And I've said this before. The great thing about this is that's a three-point link side, but it has an attacher this side for a regular trailer hitch. So this will hook onto anything with the trailer hitch. Um, because this is a small telehandler, these implements look huge on here. But, no, I haven't used one of these log forks in a while. So again, bear with me. <laughs> Be kind. Oh, that trailer's right in the way with that. I'm going to back that up. Because that log pile, that's, oh, I'll just move the log pile, that'd be easy, wouldn't it? It says, let's get those out of the way. It's all the fiddly little bits. I've had a load of bits left over. What I could do is a wood chipper up here just to throw small bits through, place of a wood chipper or something like that. I might stick one of those at some point and come up and just chuck a load of stuff through, do a bit of wood chipping. Um, there's always those options. I said there's... Um, I have been considering it actually on here, maybe. Um, did I mention it on here or on, on Edgewater? I can't remember. It might have been on here. Um, it came out recently. There's a Zoddle, Zoddle Zot one that does... Um, it's a sort of thought one that does wood pellets uh, but there's a new one that came out and it does you can put all sorts in it can't you straw and wood chips and and you get pallets of pellets and they're 4,000 litre pallets I'm just thinking this is by the sawmill if we clear this bit of land if we decided to keep this bit of land mind it's not very flat is it we could put a pellet factory in at some point I'm not saying like now but we could do doesn't have straps on it. Hmm. Open some closes that way. Okay. That's as far as that goes. Okay. Is that going to keep hold of that? Nope. Want to go further under? Okay, this has always worked really well before.
like I said, I know this is how it's supposed to be done. There's all different ways of doing it. I, I you know, I tend to default to the bag handler a lot because it just, it's easy, isn't it? But it doesn't always have to be easy. Always get that wrong way around. No. Oh. Why do these controls seem backwards to me today? Not sure, but they definitely feel odd. Unfortunately, this isn't. I thought if I got the 50 foot, I might be able to get two lots of eights on, but I'm not going to be able to. Am I? I suppose I could overhang on the. Mm, how much overhang have I got? They might topple actually. Between them. Of course it's caught between them. Mm, will I make it? Probably not. I overreached. I get that high enough, it'll be alright. So what, having that weight on the back of it? Oh, come on, no. Today. There we go, from that down. That's better. So you can probably do with. Oh no, that's right, we'll get into it. Logs aren't, they're not paying out great. I found this on Western Wilds. I was having to deliver so much to, to make ends meet, but. Once I've cleared all this, that'll be a fair bit. I might make, I don't know, might make 100,000 or something, I don't know. Oh, stop it. Those controls are on different, um, a different joystick. That might not lot easier. Think how long it took me to load three logs on. <laughs> I, mean, I probably could have loaded this a lot quicker as well, but. why it's um it's switching between the front and the there we go so I'm just talking to myself right I know people want to see me load up but I think because the other way I was doing it but this is just a rinse repeat have you seen me do this before on various different things with various different bits of equipment I'm gonna load this up we'll sell a load and then I'm gonna get over and use all that stuff The other side.
And so, with a full load delivered and a whopping 20 grand, I mean, in the end, it's 20 grand. <laughs> not knocking it. Like I said, when I did it in the last episode, um, am I going to make money? I'll make a little bit. It was more about a favour for a favour kind of thing. Um, oh, driving away from it. Uh, as soon as I bought the new sprayer, we'll sell the old one. That thing's done me proud, actually. I know it was only 1,000 litres, but if you're doing precision farming, it doesn't use a huge amount. I, know I was I was doing it on a big field, but if you're on a you know a fairly normal field, that works really well. So uh, what do we get for that? Two thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven. That covers the high cost of um, <laughs> all of the stuff we've just leased, and I can use this as well. Can't I? You know, I'm just thinking time-wise because I have spent a bit of time doing the logging, the logging portion of today's episode. Am I going to get a chance to do all of it on camera? It's not a big field, but probably not. But I'll do a little bit of each. Um, I know I say it every now and again. Um, somebody asked me about... Um, who was I talking to yesterday? It was Ralgith, wasn't it? I talking to Ralgith yesterday. He was saying it's probably time uh, for a full storyline series. Um, like I did on is it Green Valley? What was it? Um, Greenwich Valley. Um, and it, I, I find it really difficult to maintain it because people will be asking me questions through the series. What am I using for this? What am I using for that? And I still feel it's that that mod review person inside of me that feels that when I'm getting bits of equipment, because I know people say, "What's that you're using? Where did you get that from?" Um, details of what I'm using are in the description for the videos. Um, if I put them in there, which I try to do regularly. Um, I don't always remember, but I try to. And you can pick up some of this stuff, uh, like I say, nice and cheap. Just to, I can't believe, I still can't believe I took on the contract and completely fluffed it. So I feel 10, it's right here, right opposite. So we're going to go far with the equipment. And the question is going to be, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mow first going to mow Farrah and then we'll um I've been wanting to use this set for such a long time I love the sound of it I think it's brilliant and it's seven meters wide cheap as chips and what I'll do is I'll cut out as wide as I can as you can see some of it won't let me do and then I'll windrow the outside to get the grass from off the field into the field then I'll ted because if I if I don't I might run into an issue where it won't let me cut. Like you can see there, my middle mower on the turns. I'm beyond where it will let me cut now. If I come in a little bit, it might let me. There we go, about there. So I'm getting more off of this than I should be able to get. Um, I'm probably. So I'm going to sell them all. Not. Care. I've got so many bales. I don't need to keep any bales. So all the bales will go. I probably could have used the smaller um, tractor for this actually. Oh, doesn't like that bit. Maybe I went too far over. And I've often found as well doing jobs like this, sometimes coming back the other way will allow you to cut a bit further out. But it will also come down to whether or not the tether, uh, the windrow, will be able to grab it from that far out. Sometimes it doesn't let you, but we'll try. Oh, collecting it. I haven't got it. Um, I'm going to have to do what I've done before. I'm going to have to get the um, tally handler back from the uh, from the logging camp and bring my trailers over in bale configuration and do what I did before and load them all up. I'll do that. Cool. This is working alright actually. I don't know how far out I can go over here. Like, oh. A fair way, it's letting me. Oh no, okay. I think I've reached the limit there. It's another one of those things, isn't it? A field is as big as it feels depending on the equipment you're using. You look on the map and think, oh, that's quite a small field. And I'm now thinking, actually, it feels quite big. But I'm using fairly small equipment, so it's going to feel fairly large, I suppose. But... So now I'm thinking, judging by the price of some of this gear, I would need to get a, a wrapper if I need to do silage bales, but I could take on some of the contracts like these, the bailing contracts on smaller fields with a bit smaller equipment, smaller equipment. 
um, my large tractor um, only has a, a rear three a three point link. So if I want to go for bigger mowing stuff and gradually work my way up, I would need to get a bigger tractor with a front three point, which I don't have at the moment. But again, we're we're still kind of I say early doors really on here, aren't we? I'm not going to do a little bit more cutting up there. This is a nice set of mowers. Right, get this mode and then I'll see how we get on with the wind rowing. Like I say, try and get that in a little bit onto the field. Then I'll tear that. If I get a little bit of an overspill, that's not too bad. Then I can wind row it all back up. Then we'll bail it and we'll uh, sort out a load in for that one. Yeah, definitely get trailers over, get the telehandler back. That bale grab I used when I was doing the straw bales off our big field. I'll grab that. Right, windrows from the outside, I bought the grass in, so I'm not windrowing it all yet, it's got to be tedded. So all I want to do is get it in from the outside into the field. So what I'm going to do now is ted it. And what will happen now is, because I've brought that in from the outside, it won't spread out too much further again. So when we then come to windrow it all up, like I said, I was just worried because I'd cut off the outside of the field. Generally speaking, with a windrow you can bring it back in but sometimes you'll get to the very edge of where it will allow you to cut and then you can't ted it. Or if you ted it and it flings it out further than that, you then can't collect it again afterwards. So I thought the best thing to do, bring it in a little bit. And as you can see with this, it's very, this is a very calm tedder. It's not flicking it out miles. And then all we'll do is we'll get back around again, windrow it all up and then we'll start bailing. 
I'm just thinking now actually time wise I don't know whether or not we'll have to collect the bales in the next episode I think I don't know if we have enough time um, to get it all bailed and loaded onto trailers and delivered so I think to start the next episode we'll load it all up and get it delivered uh, we will be moving ahead into what was September 1, September 2 I think it's October I think sugar beet could be ready potentially right I missed that a little bit on the outside. Of course I did. No, pushed that out too far. Careful, careful, careful. Pretty much perfect. Very happy with how that's turned out. I'll come back for that, don't worry. So for the cost of, I mean, what was it? Just over a grand to lease the bits and bobs I need to do this. I'm also going to need to get a... Oh, I've got my trailers. So it'll just be leasing a bale fork for the telehandler to load the bales onto a trailer. Um, I think this pays out 11 grand, so we'll make 10 grand. When Rowan's done, let's bail. There you go, that's where you sometimes have a problem because you don't have access to the land. Getting it all in onto the main part of the field. I've set these on 220 centimetre bales rather than 180 and I didn't go as large as I could do. Um, it doesn't matter because we're going to be taking them all to sell, so I suppose I could have gone with, with that. With larger bales. The pickup on this is normally pretty good, so even the larger swaths on the outside is picking them up, no worries. I'm curious how many we're going to get. I reckon 30, maybe 30 too many, maybe 30 too many. This Deutz one's pulling no problem. I do like it on those chunky tyres. Yeah, so what we'll probably do was we'll, um, we'll end when I when I know how many we've got. Next episode we'll load them up. Hopefully, if we've skipped ahead to September two, there'll be some other jobs, some contracts, and bits and bobs we can do. I don't know what will be available. We might have some cultivating jobs or something to do. If not, then we'll we might just skip ahead to um, to sugar beet. There we go. We're done. I was a little bit off. We've got 22. Nearly 23. I'm a little bit short. I've got 83% of a bale in there. So I'm wondering whether or not, and I don't want to put you all through me doing all the processes again, whether I can get any more mode. I'm thinking possibly out towards here a little bit, just to get enough to complete that last bale to give us 23. Not that it matters. I mean, like I say, it's a bit of extra money. But yeah, so we've got 22, potentially 23. 
we're done over here next episode i'll get the stuff over we'll get it loaded and then we'll sort of see where we go from there really i'll get it loaded up we'll get them taken and we'll get them sent um a bit more of the kind of just doing stuff but also viewer suggestions got those done as well um gave them a try with some success um and then we just you know we ended up reverting back to trying something else but it doesn't matter because it's all about trying things out because you never know you might find that perfect thing you enjoy doing or that works really well and you end up sticking with it so anyway yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching